I think you are in the golden age of AI pricing war. Friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to discuss about the huge pricing war in AI APIs. Google Gemini Pro recently, just like, uh, just literally now announced the API cost. And I kind of sense that there is a huge API pricing war happening with VC funded companies. I mean, of course, it is obviously good for developers, but I also wanted to compare the price and then tell you like, if you were to build an AI application or if you were to use an AI text generation endpoint, how does the pricing look like? Let's get started. But the first thing I want you to understand is for every single pricing that we're going to see, except Gemini Pro API pricing, it uses a something called a token to cost. Unlike Gemini Pro, which literally uses characters, everything else uses something called a token. So you can see Anthropic, Anyscale, Mistral, Together, OpenAI. Every single pricing is based on token. So I want to give you a quick flavor. How does it look? Imagine this is your chat GPT kind of an application that you build. Your user is going to come and type something. For example, I'm going to say my name, my name is one little coder. So this is the message. Okay. So I've just said my name is one little coder and with the system prompt and uh, all the other things, it is totally 25 tokens and you can see how the 25 tokens come and you can see most of the times one English word is like one token. You can see here, my name is, and you can see one little coder getting split. It's anyways, it's 25 tokens. And as long as you're dealing with English, this should not make a huge difference when you have a token based price. But the problem starts very well when you have a token that is not English based. Most of the current token uh, or uh, current APIs that support this AI text generation are primarily optimized for English language. For example, let me go ahead and paste Tamil language, which is like the language that I speak. And even if you pick up one of the very small name, for example, this is a movie name, Thiruchitram Balam, latest update. All it says is like in English. If you have to say Thiruchitram Balam, latest update, like this. That's all it says. Let's see. With Tamil as a language, I get 65 tokens. While for the same thing, if I put English, I get 28 tokens. So in any token based pricing, the kind of tokens that you send is going to have a huge impact in the pricing that you're going to do. So this is a disclaimer for you. If you're going to build an application and also something for you to keep thinking and ponder about anyways, as we establish this fact, let's go ahead and then see the pricing. OpenAI being one of the veterans in the space have always had cutthroat pricing. People have always figured really hard to beat OpenAI pricing. And that's one of the reason why GPT 3.5 Turbo is almost one of the best models, um, API endpoints that people have used to build application. OpenAI recently announced GPT 4 Turbo. So GPT 4 Turbo is something that is still there. But if you look at pricing, purely output pricing, and also this is another thing you need to know, like some APIs have a different input charge and output charge. For example, if you go here, this is what you give as an input. But once you send that message, that message is going to make the chat GPT or whatever AI um, model that you're using, and it is going to generate an output. So there's an input token cost. There is an output token cost. So if you see open AI, they've got an input token cost and they've got an output token cost. So if you say one K, so this is like for 1000 tokens, they're charging, um, this is GPT four turbo. So they're charging 0 0.01 and for output, they're charging 0 0.03. So when you multiply by thousand, you're going to get a million dollar token. So not million dollar token, a token price for million tokens. So for 1 million token, this is going to cost a $10 and for 1 million tokens, this is going to cost $30. That means whenever you send something to open AI, uh, using GPT for turbo, you're going to spend $10 for input. And for output for every million token for output, you're going to spend $30. This is expensive than GPT 3.5 turbo, which is like literally the cheapest one. So as you can see here, so this is like almost like 10, 100 times cheaper, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's almost like 100 times cheaper. So you can see here, this is going to be almost like a one 
cent let me get the calculator for you 0.0010 into 1000 it's like one dollar it's not one cent it's like one dollar here for uh, the input and two dollars for the output so this is how for, this is for one million token this is what open is doing now we're going to see a huge crash in price starting now so the very first thing is mistral announced a new model called mistral medium which is almost equivalent to the gpt 3.5 in, in in many ways this is better than gpt 3.5 and if you see the pricing of this model for 1 million token they're charging 2.5 euros and for 1 million output tokens they're charging 7.5 euros so this is because this model is better than gpt 3.5 they have priced it like this but if you also see their latest mistral moe or mixtral moe you can see for 1 million tokens you see 0.6 and for 1 million tokens, you see 1.8. So 60 cents or I don't know, how do you say for euro 60 cent euros? Not sure. And you get 1.8 euros. This is much cheaper price. And I would probably easily use this model over using like, let's say a GPT 3.5 turbo because I've been testing this model and this model is actually really good. Now, Mistral as a company releases open source models and they hold the bigger model. And based on that, they're going to make money because people want bigger model and also smaller models, not very easy to host sometimes. So people go there and take it. Now, what another company, which has a lot of funding did is they decided to cut pricing on Mistral. So Mistral announced this pricing and Mistral might have already had some idea about OpenAI. OpenAI was one of the most popular places where people were using text generation given GPT 3.5 was really good and there was no real replacement for GPT 3.5 and also the pricing was good. So then Mistral came in and announced this price. Then together.ai came in and then announced this price. This is the price, which is like, I guess 60 cents. So this is technically the price that they are giving. Like if you use the Mistral model, the one that we just covered on the channel, if you use this Mistral model, so then you are going to just have uh, just have to pay 60 cents. I think that this is basically like 60 cents and uh, it's a model that is almost equivalent to GPT 3.5 and you have to pay only 60 cents. When you think about this, when you compare it with OpenAI, when you compare it with Mistral, this is like ridiculously low price. I mean, you wouldn't have dreamt of this price and it's not only for this model. Like you can go ahead and then see other models. They've got a ridiculously low price that almost have already started making developers flock onto this platform. Now, until now, I didn't decide to make this video. I mean, at this point itself, a lot of people had pointed out that there is a pricing war in AI. And I was like, okay, fine. It's, you know, it's, it's competition, a lot of funding from entrepreneurs and uh, in investors. So entrepreneurs are like happy to onboard customers with a lower price. And as they figure out things like find out optimization, they'll reach prof profitability. But the reason why I decided to make this video is now very recently, two things happened. One, Google announced its model pricing. And the second one, any scale announced its model pricing. So first let's see Google. So Google Gemini Pro, which is also once again, chat GPT 3.5 turbo level model. And if you see this thing for now, they are offering a free version, which uh, will change after some time. Again, they want people to use it. And I'm going to make a separate video about how you can use this model and there are something called Google AI studio. But for now, if you see the price, the problem for Google starts with the characters one, like if you use non English language, then you might be happy because you're going to use characters there. Like you're not going to use tokens there. So characters are like quite straightforward. But now if you are an English speaker or uh, if you're building an app for English customers, there is no, though no sense, like no reason for you to pay for 1000 characters, not 1000 tokens, a character is a letter while a token could be like, like a close to a word or something like that. So what have we seen here? So if we go here and I'm just going to add only one word, even if I really remove everything. So you can see a and S. okay, let me remove this and add a message. You can see this including all these things just with this extra, it's just 24 tokens. So you can see, and this entire thing is one token. 
and even if I say and it's going to be one token so you can see this is equivalent of one token so you're ultimately paying for one token when somebody types and but what Google is saying is that Google is saying that no 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 you have to pay for characters so that means automatically you're going to pay for three characters rather than one token and like I said like if you are using non-English language it may be helpful for you but if you are using English language I don't see any point in somebody going voluntarily using it while you have other alternatives so I don't know why Google made this decision especially given that they've got heck a lot of money and they have a huge market share to climb up I don't understand this strategy cool now who is the one another competitor who is still in the picture that is Anthropic keeping the model in the waiting list keeping the hundred thousand token window as their only mode still Claude Anthropic has got some decent pricing to be honest the completion token takes 2.4 dollars per million token so if you compare it with open AI GPT 3.5 turbo it takes two dollars and uh, the Claude Anthropic takes 2.4 dollars so you would naturally incline towards open AI given that you know open AI a lot of people trust innovation and all these things but again you have an alternative where you can uh, you can see Okay, Claude has a different pricing and it might be a decent fallback model. But the game completely, like ridiculously completely changes with this new pricing from any scale. Any scale is first of all a very well established market, like a place where you can go either get API to use a model or you get API to fine tune a model. They've got these things. Maybe one day, someday, like I'll, I'll ask them to sponsor my video so that I can cover them. But anyways, AnyScale is a really good platform. A lot of people have been using it. I know a lot of people using it in production. So now if you see this pricing, let's take the same model that we have been seeing, like the Mixtral 8x7 billion parameter instruct model. So what they're saying is that for 1 million tokens, they're saying oh, you have to pay only 50 cents. When you compare this with OpenAI pricing for 1 million token, you have to pay $2. So OpenAI is four times expensive than any skill. So, okay, forget about OpenAI. If you just literally go compare the Mistral small, which is technically the Mistral, the 8X MOE model, this is 1.8 euros. So let's assume that, you know, it is $2. So now the any scale is saying that Mistral charges you $2 per million token, but they're like, but for one, they are not experts in hosting model. They're really good at developing model, but they're not experts at hosting model. So you come to any scale. First, we are experts in hosting model. And then our price is 25% cheaper than what Mistral itself is offering. And when you compare it with together, once again, you would see this is 60 cents and this is 50 cents, dead cheap. And when you compare it with Google, it's a no brainer. When you compare it with Anthropic, it's a no brainer. So the point I wanted to highlight and the reason I'm making this video is if you want to build an AI startup, probably this is the golden time. And every time, like, trust me, every time I say this on a video, every time I say this on a consulting call, every time I tell this somebody, I have a huge FOMO of still not building my own AI startup, but also a lot of reasons like time and, you know, work pressure, like, because I've got a full-time job and all the other things have uh, pushed me into this situation where I could not still build an AI startup. But again, like if you want to build an AI startup, this is the best time to do it because you have got a huge amount of VC funded startups, like cutting prices from incumbents to big companies. And you can take advantage of that as a consumer. I'm still a little concerned about how Mistral would survive in this market. They've got huge funding, I guess. They must definitely have like two, three years runway. But if you, if you leave out all those concerns out, I think you are in the golden age of AI pricing war and that is going to benefit you and only you if you were to build an AI startup. To quickly summarize, any scale has got the lowest pricing for a GPT-3 level model, which is Mixtral 8, 7 billion parameter model, which charges only 50 cents for 1 million tokens and then followed by together pricing then followed by you have got like OpenAI, then followed by Anthropic and then somewhere Google is there having a different approach for a pricing calculation. I wish they had done like a comparison to show 
how character based pricing would differ from token based pricing and what kind of advantages are there otherwise it's it's very hard to see what google is trying to do here especially when already they do not have enough trust and the market has been captured by open ai anthropic and uh, all the other open source models i hope this pricing video was helpful to you let me know in the comment section if you have not subscribed subscribe for more updates see you in another video happy prompting